I want to preface this by saying that I 34 married my husband 37 a year ago. His mom is snoopy and annoying AF. She can't help it that is just how she is as my dear in-laws say. My husband and I purchased a new house recently. My mill kept pushing to get an emergency key, she promised that she only use it in an emergency but giving the fact that she had an emergency key to our old apartment and walked in on us being intimate twice, but my husband didn't think it was big deal, I just couldn't trust her so I just sent her a fake key, after she kept pushing, and she had a smug on her face after a hand delivered it to her. Days gone by and on Christmas dinner Mill angrily called me out on the fact I gave her a fake copy of the house key. She shamed me for doing this in front of everyone but in my defensive I asked her how she found out and she said days ago when she came over at 4 while my husband and were out. I reminded her didn't you promise you wouldn't use it unless there's an emergency? So you tried to get in when there was no emergency and you broke the promise you made to us. She looked red in the face and the other family started staring and some even laughed at her for the face she made. She suddenly got up from her seat and rushed into the kitchen where she had a huge meltdown so loud the next door neighbors must have heard, literally I've never heard a 60 plus year old woman throw a tantrum like that. Needless to say dinner went awkward and my husband and his sister were giving me looks. My husband went off on me in the car and said I lied and manipulated and humiliated and exposed his mom and said he wouldn't have let me get away with it had he known. We had an argument and he is demanding I apologize to his mom for my childish behavior and for ruining Christmas dinner for the whole family. He wouldn't let you get away with it? I don't say this often but that's a huge red flag and you need to ask him what he means by that. He doesn't own or control you and it sounds like she needs to be shown that she doesn't control you or your home. She can't just show up whenever she wants and the fact that a grown woman walked into that very obvious trap means she doesn't consider you a real person but the equivalent of a maid that she can boss around. Not the idiot. Not the idiot. Do not. Do not apologize to this lying conniving woman. How dare your husband blame you? Why is everyone glossing over the fact this woman tried to walk in uninvited and broke her promise? She doesn't deserve a key or an apology. I'm sorry for you being stuck with this bunch of enablers. You deserve better. You knew you couldn't trust her so you gave her a key to shut her up and then instead of being quiet about it after she tried to get in, she exposed herself for being a snoop. I refused point blank to give my dad a key to my house when I got married because I knew damned well he would come up and snoop when I wasn't home. Fortunately for once he took no for an answer. Your mill should have done too. It's a shame your husband is not on your side. But your mill really did do this to herself. My, 20, brother, 18, do not have the beat relationship. He is lazy, entitled and rude. He disrespects me and my mom constantly, and is your typical machista. Despite the terrible way he treats the women in our family, he always manages to have a girlfriend. His current girlfriend Sally, 18, is very kind. She's also very shy, and when she visits my family, we are not allowed to talk to her. During family parties, he keeps her upstairs and only comes down to eat. If we, as in my parents, sister or myself, start a conversation with her, he gets agitated and rushes her away. One time he even said I was a stupid idiot for talking to her about traveling for school. She is the only girlfriend to have met the family, so it's not like we've done anything to traumatize him from bringing girls. I have no relationship with Sally. I've been working since I started college two years ago. I make my own money and buy myself nice things. I'm not overly expensive, but I don't mind spending $15 on body scrubs and other self-care things for myself. I have a small collection from a brand called Soap and & Glory, and I really love their products. I leave some of my things in the bathroom as that where I use them. I noticed that a few of my things went missing, but figured I'd misplaced them or my oldest sister was borrowing them. I saw Sally post a gift basket from him on her Snapchat. Her basket coincidentally had the same products I had lost. My brother hasn't worked a day in his life, doesn't save money from birthdays or holidays, and doesn't earn an allowance at home, it's kinda impossible for him to have bought her all of the items considering they ring up from $10 to $20 and there were several things. When I confronted him, he got defensive and said that because they were in our shared bathroom, they were in my designated cabinets, he had the right to use them. He also claimed that I could just buy them again since I work. I told him he either had to pay me back for them or give me them back. He told me to back off. I decided to message Sally and tell her about the situation. 
I told her she could keep them if she wanted since they were a gift, but that they had been stolen from me. I told her she didn't owe me anything, but that I would appreciate it if she told my brother not to be stealing things from me to give to her. I figured he'd at least listen to her and acknowledge that what he did was rude. She understood, but told me she wanted to give them back. I guess she confronted my brother and he blew up. He got my parents involved. He told me I was stupid and selfish, and that I was a piece of crap for making Sally feel bad. He told me I had no right to tell her that the things were stolen as they made him look bad. My parents were also mad at him for taking my things, but madder at me for crossing a boundary in his relationship. Am I the idiot for confronting Sally? Not the idiot, you seriously need to talk to your parents about his behavior. And you wonder where he get his bad attitude from. Your parents are enabling him to keep up the attitude he have. They need to do something. They can't just let him go free after what he did. You wouldn't even have to meddle in their relationship if he didn't steal your property in the first place. If anyone is to blame, it's your brother. You were kind about it. And now she knows the type of person your brother is. She sounds pretty sweet. So hopefully she can dump him and find someone who isn't an ah. Editing to add, your brother dragged you into his relationship when he stole items from you to gift to his girlfriend. And I wouldn't point that out to your parents. I would also go through any jewelry and valuables you have to make sure they haven't gone missing as well, and I would tell your older sister and your mother to do so as well. Your brother sounds like a controlling, manipulative idiot. She needs to cut him out of her life and find a man who loves and appreciates her. Your brother needs to get a job and learn that stealing is not how you get what you want. Your parents are idiots. Where did your brother even learn this behavior? Does your dad treat your mom like that? My wife has a 24 year old son from a previous relationship and I'm so glad he was 18 when I met her because I really don't think I would have been able to marry her. I can't stand him. He is engaged to a woman who has a volatile temper and picks fights over everything. She does not like my wife and he is too much of a coward to stand up for his mother. My wife had a very traumatic childhood. I mean I can't even put into words how screwed up it was and she has a half-sister who was in and out of her life. She loved her sister and every time her dad and stepmom broke up again she lost her sister, sometimes for years at a time. As a result she has issues about allowing herself to love someone who could be taken away. I don't mean like a man who could leave her but she is unwilling to date someone with minor children in case she got attached. Her son's fiancé has lots of restrictions about the baby and before he was born she constantly threatened to go no contact whenever she fought with my wife. My wife decided that she does not want a relationship with her grandchild. At first I thought she was being dramatic but she explained how she used to lay awake at night and feel physically sick wondering when her sister was going to be taken again and that she is not signing up for 18 years of pain. My stepson came very today with the baby and banged on the door and demanded that she come out and meet the baby. My wife went upstairs and I tried to calmly tell him why she won't meet the baby, then I called him a pussy for even letting this happen. At that point emotions were high and he was determined that he was going to get in the house. I warned him that I was going to call the police and when he didn't leave I called. He didn't get arrested or anything but he was in tears by the time the cops got him to leave. Everyone's the idiot here. Your wife's reaction may be understandable given the circumstances, but she's still an idiot for thinking the answer to her mental health issues is to never become attached to another child, even her own grandchild. Son and fiancé sound like idiots for not respecting boundaries and for threatening relationships during fights. You may be the least idiotic here, but this family has issues. It's time to get some healthy problem solving going on here. You shouldn't be worrying about whether you were an idiot in this one situation and instead be concerned about whether you can help move these relationships towards a more positive place. No idiots here. It's okay that this son wants his mom to be in his baby's life and his big grief around the decision to cut off that relationship. It's okay for his mother to set the limits she needs for her own well-being. It's okay for the husband and father-in-law to support his wife's boundaries. Only thing I'd encourage is to keep the goal of de-escalation in mind for everyone's sake. Boundaries can be maintained without demeaning or emasculating insults, especially in light of this son's understandable sadness. This is really sad. I could go everyone's the idiot here, but there's not enough detail to really call anyone a total idiot here. Your wife needs therapy, really seriously, 
She's gone through such awful experiences and no doubt these have affected the way she raised her child. The stepson needs therapy too. You're trying to support your wife which is great but you're also just letting all this dysfunction happen around you. So I like my boyfriend but I don't know if this is the right timing for us. We've been together for about 10 months and he has recently started asking to move in with me. My initial reaction was happiness. I was excited to spend more time with him but as he's been staying with me more, 3 to 4 nights per week, there's a few things that have been bothering me. 1. My boyfriend tends to just drop stuff and not pick it up. I have a small condo so piles of clothes and stuff tend to be quite noticeable when there's basically only a handful of surfaces. I have asked him to pick stuff up and he just shrugs it off. 2. He stays up late gaming and refuses to wear headphones so it keeps me up at night. Once again it's a small condo so hard to get away from noise. He works from 12 pm to 9 pm 4 days a week, so feels like he should be able to enjoy his evenings. But I work from 6 am to 4 pm, 5 days a week, and I drive heavy machinery so it's important I get enough sleep and I'm alert enough for work. 3. He recently was telling me about how much he was going to save by not paying rent. He currently pays $210 per week, and I questioned why he thought he would be living rent-free with me, he argued that he shouldn't have to contribute to my mortgage, and I agreed but said that I would still want about 50% of market rent, market rent is around $220, and I said I would like $100 per week, my mortgage payments are $340 per week, so it's not like he's paying half my mortgage. This turned into a rather large argument and he repeatedly slammed doors in my condo and damaged the lock on one. He then got mad when I asked him to help fix it. 4. He has repeatedly suggested that if he moved and then my cat would have to be confined to the hall cupboard when he's here, because he doesn't like cats he's not allergic, he just doesn't like them. I disagree and think that's unfair to my 11 year old cat who has had the run of the place for the last 4 years. Long story short, my boyfriend's current rental period is up end of July and he has repeatedly talked about moving here rather than finding somewhere else. I've consistently rebutted this but finally put my foot down last weekend after he deliberately let my cat outside and said he absolutely wouldn't be moving in with me and I wanted him to move his gaming stuff out of my lounge, kitchen area. He threw a massive fit and stormed off and now his mom is ringing me and calling me a lot of rather rude things because he's going to have to move back in with them until he finds a new place. Am I the idiot for not letting him move in, even though I was initially keen? Quite a few people have asked our ages, I'm 24, he's 29. Not the idiot, he's a freeloader. This isn't the man for you. He comes to your home and treats it badly. He expects to live there for free. He wants you to neglect and abuse your cat, and he is also putting your cat in harm's way. Babe, this man is a walking red flag. Please leave him and certainly don't let him move in. He's abusing you already. This will only get worse. You've seen his true colors. Do you really want a man that treats you badly, doesn't respect your home, your need for sleep and then abuses your pet? Think about it. Deep down you know you don't. Go give your kitty some hugs and dump the boyfriend. Not the idiot. This is less about staying with you and more about living rent free, without making any compromise whatsoever. He's throwing tantrums like a child and wants you to clean up after him like his mother. And his attitude towards the cat is unacceptable. I don't usually jump the dump him wagon, but you might want to consider your future with him, since you already have a pretty clear picture of what living with him would look like. He is serious growing up to do. His behavior is showing that he wouldn't respect your place or decisions which is especially important if you own it. Looking at you as a free ride and then blaming you for not being a doormat is not the behavior you want in a housemate, let alone one you're dating. My sister owns her house, her boyfriend paid what you're suggesting as well and they split utilities. If you do decide to do this I would suggest making a rental contract or agreement so that nothing is being taken for granted without explicit communication. Update: I never gave him express permission to move in end of July. I had said that I would be excited for him to move in eventually back in May when he first brought it up but that I thought it was too soon, and as he spent more time here over May and June I realized I wasn't happy with how he treated my home as a guest, let alone as a roommate. After my initial excitement I was careful to rebut his suggestion to move in whenever he brought it up because of this. We have now broken up. His mum came round to my condo the other night and basically demanded that I give her a new set of keys, 
I changed the locks after I told him to get his stuff because he refused to give me his set back. When I refused she made up a bullcrap story about how he had left something here and I stupidly let her into my condo. She then went on to accidentally knock over a vase of flowers, stand on Tiffany, and stood in my lounge or kitchen and called her son telling him to come round ASAP whilst refusing to leave. I called the cops who arrived shortly before my ex did and escorted her away. I then broke up with my ex through the door because I didn't want to risk letting him into my apartment. Yes there were a lot of red flags but my prior relationship was not a great one at all, can't say why the post will get banned, and I didn't have any other experience with relationships, so I came into this one with a kinda skewed idea of what was expected in a relationship and just didn't see them until I re-read my post from an outsider perspective. For everyone asking, Tiffany, my cat, is fine. She was a rescue, she was a Persian ragdoll unknown cross that was born to a kitten farm, and had four litters by the time she was two, which is when she was uplifted and my mum got her for me. I've had her for almost 10 years now and she's an absolute princess.